Well, good morning, folks. It's the real Captain Kirk here. It's the 14th of May, 2022, Saturday. Again, we're live from One Bethlehem Plaza. Kind of gloomy today, but it is warm outside, so we'll take it. Thought we'd talk real quick here how we help uh, big Fortune 500 companies in retail supply, financial services. Not only predict the weather, temp, rain, snow by week, by mile, out a year, everywhere on Earth, so that's 32 million spots, but also predict seasonal sales. We do this for about 10,000 seasonal categories, and we do all this in about 30 seconds. So again, I'll tell you how we take clients' point-of-sale data, what you and I bought at the store, quantify it against past weather, and then predict the, try to predict those sales. So here's our, what we call our power of one degree technology and how every one degree warmer or colder has an influence on seasonal sales. So we'll talk about some of these spring type categories of ice cream and beer and allergy. Every degree hotter year on year, about a 1% increase for those categories. Um, 10 degrees hotter, 10%. Uh, things like bird seed, fishing equipment, grilling equipment, uh, spring apparel typically move at about 3% higher sales for every degree warmer. So if it's 10 degrees hotter, 30% increase. So let's look at uh, here Chicago where they've had just blistering hot weather here this past week. So this is the, the week ending uh, 14 May in Chicago uh, last year, coldest in 11 years. So freezing cold actually had three very cold uh, second week of May in Chicago here the past few years, not this year, record hot. Uh, so again, about 22.4 degrees warmer than last year. We simply apply that rule of thumb to our power one degree technology, and so we start to predict some things here. So 22.4 degrees warmer times 1% movement in allergy medicines, so about a 22% increase in for allergy medications. Spring apparel, uh, grills, fishing, bird seed all move at about 3% per degree, so that'd be about 67% increase in sales. Lawn and garden would be about 4%, uh, fertilizer, pool chemicals similar, up about 90%. And then bug sprays, sprinklers, lawnmowers, those types of items move at about 5%, a little more volatile. So upwards of 112% year-on-year increase in sales. So again, that's just how we quantify the sales. And then we uh, actually then take that all the way down to store or DCs or warehouses, however customer plans, a year ahead. Uh, so predict their sales uh, store by store. Looking at a recap here of uh, last week on the world scale now. So this big map is, the again, trends versus last year. Again, how our customers prefer to look at the weather. Here in the U.S., it was hot, uh, 7.2 degrees warmer than last year, warmest in four years, fourth warmest in 37 years. So a very much above average week here for the U.S. overall, particularly from the South Central, again, back into that Chicago, even into the Northeast. Uh, school spots would have been more toward the uh, Southeast, West Coast. Um, looking at areas, other areas around the world, um, we we're also the driest in nine years here in the U.S. So warm, dry, that's great for spring sales. Uh, think about it, right? If it's warm and dry, DOT, construction guys out there working, building stuff, you and I buying stuff out at the uh, restaurant, eating outside, enjoying the spring weather. So again, just everything tends to lift when you have that warm, dry weather. Canada, not too bad. Warmest in four years. Uh, what is in five? Uh, UK was, uh, again, continuing the warm streak. Warmest in six years. Europe, warmest in 15 years. Cold in uh, in China. Coldest in 37 years. And what is in seven? So that's a, a drag on their economy, if you will. Uh, precip and temp maps inset left are the trends on the world scale versus average one thing that's also kind of uh, improving a bit, at least this year, is uh, drought status. Uh, we're, we're down about 61% of the country in dry to drought phases, D0, D4. Uh, we were as high as 75% of the country back on 8 March. So we're seeing an improving trend uh, to some extent here, uh, particularly um, maybe in the heartland, the Corn Belt. And, and again, so some improving trends still, obviously, a lot of drought out there, but uh, improving for sure. Average this time of year would be about 44% uh, of the country and D0, D4 phases, and uh, look back at 2019, it was just epically wet, um, so record flooding. So it's a pretty big change, but again, some improvement here on the drought status. Not improving much here on the tornado front. I continue to keep adding numbers here. 670 tornadoes so far this year, most in five years. 58% more than last year's uh, low season, 15% above average, and the top 21% in history. So it continues, and again, it's uh, unfortunately, we think this does continue through the rest of 2022. Look at this week here, again, hard to believe, third week of May here. Uh, temperature trends here in the U.S., 1.7 warmer than last year, warmest in four years, third warmest in 37 years, so on a bunch of, much above average temperature week. Really hot there in uh, Texas and, uh, you know, spilling all the way into the northeast, so um, getting some 70s uh, up here in the northeast, maybe even get close to 80. Precip 10 is dry. Uh, we're looking at 54% drier than last year, driest in 20 years, second driest in uh, 37 years, so much below average on the precip front. It's kind of good news there for the, the farmers in the Midwest, uh, behind schedule here with all the crazy weather, but uh, hopefully playing some catch-up here this week. Look at next week, hard to believe. This is the week before Memorial Day here. Um, still looking good. We're 1.6 degrees warmer than a year ago, 14th warmest in 37 years, so above average national temperatures. 
particularly hot down in the south central U.S., um, even getting up in the northeast, uh, above average temperatures, we'll take it. 37-year uh, precept trends here show 34% what in last year, what is in five years, eighth what is in 37 years. Don't like to see this clash of uh, air masses as you see that it's cold there in the plains and then warmer in the Midwest. Uh, anytime you have a battleground like that, you can see uh, all that very heavy rain from Texas and potentially into Missouri. Uh, that is also potentially very much uh, severe weather, th thunderstorms and tornadoes. So let's hope it's not a major, major outbreak, but again, something to watch as we go into Memorial Day. So this could be a, could be a big outbreak. We just aggregate these two-week trends here now for the 15th through the 28th of May on the world scale. We see some. The general trend is warm from Texas into the northeast and colder toward the Pacific Northwest, where it's been a pretty horrible spring. Uh, cold, uh, wet. Alaska pretty cold. Western Canada pretty cold. Um, also cold there in uh, Russia. Uh, but look at Europe. Europe's uh, much improved. Uh, precip trends versus average for bottom left there. So with that, folks, we hope you have a great week, and uh, we'll be back here again next weekend. Mm -hmm.